The search continues for a missing boater. I'm Perry Apostolakos in Marinette, where the last person to see Billy Salnick takes to the water again to try and find his friend. In an exclusive interview Thursday, I spoke with him, and I spoke with the mother of Billy's children, whose bodies were discovered on Monday. John Malazzo was Billy Salnick's friend, and he says he met him because of biking. He had a little shop in Green Bay. He did his little bike services. He just a little small, small shop, and we just had a little group that we hung out. John says he took his new jet ski and met Billy on the water in the Bay of Green Bay on Saturday, where they eventually used Billy's boat to sail to Green Island. There, they ate and played with Billy's kids, five-year-old Charlotte and three-year-old Joshua, leaving sometime between four and five. That's where we're kind of noticing the sky is getting a little bit dark over land. That's where he was saying that there's supposed to be storms in the morning. That's why he wanted to try to chase him back and get to O'Connell before the storms hit. John headed back to Marinette and messaged Billy, asking if he had gotten back to Oconto. Billy did not answer. By the next day, after more messages, John went to Oconto to look for his friend. I seen his vehicle and my heart sank. It was Sunday, so there's no harbor master. I just ran up to a random person and I was like, what, what do I do here? I, 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 I couldn't even word. Words weren't coming out, so. John's call to police over the weekend started the search which found Charlotte and Joshua's bodies on Monday, their life vests tied together. The Door County Sheriff's Office says they are on the water Thursday with the help of a local fire department and dogs trained to search for people in water, with plans to continue boat searches for Billy through the weekend. John has spent the past week searching on his own, desperate to find his friend. Definitely didn't expect this to be the end results. I spoke with the children's mother, Daisy, in Marinette Thursday. Daisy says they first identified the children's bodies on Tuesday. It was Daisy's first time seeing their children, who lived with Billy and their grandmother, in three years. They then had a private viewing, along with Billy's mother, Tina, on Wednesday. John is planning a community search Sunday, starting at Red Arrow Park in Marinette at 10 a.m. They hope to search the waters around Green and Chambers Islands and dock to search on foot. In Marinette, Perry Apostolakos, NBC 26.